Hi, Adam. We're going to do the old rugged cross in the key of C. Start at fret eight, open position. I'm going to play it, and then we'll go back and talk through. Okay, anyway, that's about how I'm going to try to teach it to you. Again, it's in the key of C. So we're going to start out on fret 8, strings. This is what we're going to do. Just like that, okay? So you're going to hit strings 8 and 6. Then 7 and 6 with the B pedal. Then 6 and 5, back to fret 7 with 6 and 5, up to fret 8 with the A and B pedals down, 6 and 5, then release, same string, 5 and 6. So that's... Now you're going to hit 9, 6 and 5, kind of roll them. strike five twice you don't have to roll them you can just then eight six and five pedals down a and b pedals now go up to fret nine lower your ease and hit eight six and five it's an f minor is what it is but you're going to go Then up to fret 10, pedals down, 8, 6, and 5. Just a G chord. Release with pedals, 9, 6, and 5. So, so far we got this. Now... Five and six at fret ten. Back up to nine to press A and B pedals down. Slide back up to ten. Then down to eight. Five and six A and B pedals down. Now release only your A pedal. Now go to fret six. Lower your F or your E's and release the B pedal. Go back up to 8 and press the B pedal. Keep your E's lowered. Back down to 6 with no pedals with the E's lowered. Now slide down to fret 3. Let go of the lever. And 
engage your B pedal as you go and squeeze your A pedal when you get there. So that's just like this. Now D minor at fret six, eight, six, and five, lowering your E's, lowering string eight. So you get down here. Eight, six, and five with your E's lowered. Then the same thing again. That's eight, six, and eight and six. Six and seven with B. Six and five. Six and five at seven. Six and five at eight with the A and B pedals. Release, same strings. Nine, six, and five. Five again. F chord, eight, six, and five with your pedals down. Now you're sliding up to nine with your E's lowered, no pedals. Now up to 10, pedals down, eight, six, and five, G chord. Nine, six, and five, open at fret 10. Now, only six and five. Now this part, you, you got a wide grip. You're gonna do three, five, and eight. With your E's lowered, and your B pedal down. That's squeezing in your A pedal. Your B pedal stays down. Squeeze in your A pedal, then release it with your E's lower. Eight, six, and three. I'm sorry, eight, five, and three. Now let go of your B pedals. Leave your lever on. Down to six, same thing. Eight lowered. Three and five. Slide down to the C chord at fret three, eight, six, and five with your pedals down. So that last part. And there at the end, I just let go of my A pedal and then pushed it back on. You can squeeze it slow, you can just hit it, however you want to do it. So I'm going to play, that was the verse, I'm going to play it again for you, real slow. Back to fret eight, lower your E's. You're gonna play string four and five, and then you're gonna release your lever and press your A pedal. Up to fret 10. Eight, four and five. Lower your E's again and let go of your A pedal. Now, let go of your lever and your pedals, four, five, and six. That was just four, five, and six. Four again, and then eight, six, and five pedals down. Sorry. Six. 
So that was, uh, let me, let's start off with the course. Don't forget where I am. Lower your ease, swing four and five, quit. My, do my dog is trying to bite my feet. Hang on just a second. <laughs> Sorry about that, my dog <laughs> threw me off. So, starting the course again. Fret eight, lower your ease, hit strength four and five, no pedals. Then you let go of the lever, press the A pedal. Slide up to fret 10. Fret 10, 4 and 5, back to fret 8. Lower your ease. Press your B pedal. It's a G sound chord, string 4, 5, and 6 with string 4 lower than your B pedal. Then let go of the lever and the pedal, the B pedal. And then press the B pedal to get a sustain in the Release it. That was four and five, then five and six, squeeze your pedals in. Four and five, and then five and six at ten with your pedals down. That's release your pedals, hit five, four, or five, six, and eight. I threw six in there, the B, and then release to get to sustain. Now this is probably the trickiest part. Five and six with the B pedal. Let that ring hit four. Now hit one. Now three and five, open. So five and six, squeeze the B pedal one. Five and six, squeeze in the B pedal one. String four, string one. Let go of your pedals and hit three and five. That was B pedal and squeezing the A pedal in, then release. Now five and six, squeezing, put your B pedal and squeezing your A at fret eight. Now three and five, A and B pedal down. Release. Fret six, same strings, three and five. Back up to fret eight, four and six. Five and six, press the B pedal. Slide up to fret 10 and push your A pedal with your B pedal. Hit swing four. Now, four, five, and six at eight. Open. And that's it. But I went back and I tagged it and did that last line again. That's A and B at fret 8. With strings 3 and 5. Hitting it twice. Release your pedals. 3 and 5 at 6. Now 4 and 6 at 8. 5 and 6 with the B pedal. 5 and 6 with the A and B at 10. Now, four, five, and six at ten. Now, instead of resolving a C, since I'm tagging it, I go back down to the A, fret, four, five, and six, A and B. Now, slide up to nine, let go of your pedals, and lower string four at the same time. 
That's an F minor. You don't have to do this, but I'm giving you the option. Then back down to C. Four, five, and six. And that's it, okay? Now I'm gonna try to play it through one more time for you. And uh, something you need to try to do, remember your volume pedal, okay? Get it to the level that you play at. Right when you're gonna strike, back off just a hair. See, I know you can see my foot a little bit, but I'm backing off just a hair and coming right back in, right after I strike. See, it hides that string attack a little bit, or the pick attack. So anyway, here's the song one more time. That last thing was a Franklin pedal. I know you probably don't have it. But anyway, that's it, buddy. Uh, if you need any clarification or any more help, let me know. Anything you need help with at all, let me know. Uh, theory, songs, licks, whatever, and I'll do my best. All right, man? God bless. Happy Easter.